it was very emotional, you know? We just all looked at each other and thought it might be the last time we play the characters um, together, you know? Bonjour, Pam. How are you? Bonjour. I'm good, and you? Good. Uh, listen, I got to say congratulations. You know, obviously, it's great to wrap up anything on your own terms, but you guys really fought to make sure that James would be part of this as well. And I know it wasn't always a guarantee that he was. What did it mean to you to be able to say goodbye in the right way with James Gunn a part of it as well? It was so beautiful and meaningful. And it's the trilogy as James Gunn imagined it. You know, he had planned everything in his head since the beginning. And it was his beautiful vision of the characters and and of the story, you know. And and it was beautiful in this uh, volume three to uh, dive into, um, into Rocket's backstory and all the trauma he's been through. But actually all the Guardians have been through a lot of trauma, you know, but it's beautiful because they all connect in such a, a deep way and they they just all kind of like save themselves by being together and st sticking with each other, you know? Yeah, and they, they do such a good job of pairing the cast up with people that they can play off of well. And I think, you know, Mantis and Drax are such a great dynamic in this. You obviously have great chemistry with Dave Bautista. What was it like to build that connection, especially after starting it so strongly with the Christmas special as well? Oh my God, we had so much fun in the holiday special. And we actually shot it at the same time as Garden of the Galaxy Volume 3. So, you know, it was, it was funny because um, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Volume 3 has a deeper tone, you know, like darker. And the holiday special was just like, ah! you know, so it was just like going to like, so many emotions. But um, uh, yeah, no, it was, it was awesome to get to work with, with Dave and to, to it's, I, I love the dynamic between um, Mantis and Drax, you know, it's so sweet uh, to play. It's so funny. And they're just buddies. And yeah, and sometimes like, you know, Dave calls her like horrible names, but it's just funny, you know? <laughs> I love that. Peter, you know this is an open line, right? What? We're listening to everything you're saying. And it is painful. And you're just telling me now? We were hoping it would stop on its own. But I switched it over to private. What color button did you push? Blue, for the blue suit. Oh no. Blue is the open line for everyone. Orange is for blue. What? Black is for orange, yellow is for green. Green is for red, and red is for yellow. No, yellow is for yellow. Green is for red, red is for green. I don't think so. Try it then. Hello! Yeah! You were right. Uh, but it was beautiful at the, at the same time. You know, it's beautiful to have these emotions and to, to, to care for each other, you know? Um, and we're all friends in real life as well, so... Yeah, that was beautiful. Well, and you guys always bring the fun and, and music and dancing is such a big part of the Guardians franchise in general. What's it like to be in the room and to be part of one of those dance parties? Because they look like a great time. Oh, yeah, it was great. I mean, I don't... Do I dance in the movie? Oh, yeah, at the beginning, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the, the music is such a, is such an important part of the movie. And it's, uh, it's so amazing how um, James Gunn ch chooses, like each music for each moment and he sends us um in the script the um, the songs are already written in, into the script and then he before starting to shoot the movie uh he sent us a, a mixtape you know playlist with all the songs of the movie so we just like you know listen to the music dream about the scenes and then shoot the scene and he would play the music on set sometimes and um yeah it was amazing thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our Narcity channel to see more great content.